Audra from the Kurtz Corner, and today I'm going to be showing you how to upcycle a pair of ordinary flip-flops. I know a lot of you probably have these flip-flops sitting in your closet somewhere. We all have had them at some point in our life. You can find them anywhere at like Target, Walmart. Um, I actually found these at a local craft store at Joann's. They were only $2.99. Um, but a lot of times they're just really plain and ugly. I know they're just, you know, we just need them sometimes, but a lot of the times they're uncomfortable because they've got that hard plastic right there. So I figured why not show you how to make a pair of ordinary flip-flops uh, into a unique pair of your own. And today I'm gonna be using yarn by Lion Brand Yarn Company. You can visit them at lionbrand.com. This is what the yarn looks like. It's really unique in that it is remains from garment manufacturing, so no two uh, skeins of yarn is alike, so it's really unique in that you're gonna get an original look in every single skein of yarn. No one else is gonna have it but you. It's really soft, it's a super bulky six yarn. Um, it's great for all kinds of crafts. I'm using it to make these gladiator flip-flops, um, and you can make it for making bags, making jewelry, anything you want. It's really soft, and I love this yarn. So be sure to check out lionbrand.com and see what they have available, and I'm sure you can also find it at your local craft stores like Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Joann's. So today I'm going to be showing you how to take those seemingly ordinary flip-flops and turning them into gladiator-style flip-flops. So they're super unique, and this is what the yarn looks close up. Um, and I've just created Gladiator Style, which wraps around your ankle. And I really love it because they're unique, it adds a pop of color, and it makes the flip-flop just that more comfortable to wear because we no longer have that big plastic piece that goes between our toes, but instead we have this really soft yarn. So they're super comfortable, um, great for just, you know, heading around the town, out on the beach, anywhere you wanna wear them. These are great. So uh, let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you the materials that we need and show you how to make your own Gladiator flip-flops. For this project, you'll need a pair of flip-flops, fettuccine yarn, and a pair of scissors. Okay, to get started with this project, you're going to need to first cut your strips of yarn. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I have already pre-measured this with the flip-flops that I previously made and it was a good length for me. It might depend upon how big your foot is. I wear a size seven, seven and a half. So this is what I did. So first, get your long strands. It's gonna become the braid, which is the strap and then the part that goes around your ankle. And that is roughly six feet long. So I have one piece here and I'm just going to match that and cut that and then again make your third so that you have enough to create a braid. Okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to remove the plastic parts from our flip-flops. So just poke it through. Um, you can pull it through. It might not it might be easier just to cut it. I just cut it with my scissors and it cuts through the plastic pretty easily. So I just cut that little piece off uh, and then do the same for the bottom parts. And I actually just cut the strap like that and then poke it, poke it through like that. So again, I just cut this strap here and then poke that through. So all I did was I put my three pieces together and put a knot at one end, just regular knot, and then I began to uh, braid it until I was done and then knotted the other end. So now we're going to take the yarn again and we're just gonna cut off a few short pieces, just three. Um, they don't have to be long, just short. So this is what we're gonna use to create um, or to add the strap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this yarn from the top of the flip-flop, I'm going to push it through the hole so you can just use the edge of your scissor or the tip of your scissors and pull it from the bottom side and then put the other piece through, but don't pull it through all the way. You wanna create a loop. So just push it through and pull it like that. And now we have this loop here on this first, on the top side. So then I'm gonna take my braid and I'm gonna go through that loop and then I'm gonna pull it um, until I just have a little strap that my toes can go around. So I would put your foot in the flip-flop to test it out, put it in there to see how um, tall or how high you want that to be. Um, so I, I'm just gonna 
guesstimate here since I've already made my pair. And then on the bottom of the flip-flop, turn it around and then again, make another knot. So just knot it and then pull it tight, but be sure to not pull it all the way through on the other side because you want a piece, a bit of the yarn so that you can have a little area to put your toes around. So pull that knot. Okay, and then um, you're gonna wanna cut off the excess yarn. So there's just gonna be this little knot on the bottom of your flip-flop and you can push that down into the hole. And you can even put hot glue there if you wanna secure it even more. I didn't on mine and they're perfectly fine. You just shove it down in the hole and it is flat. So you don't, don't worry about it being um, lumpy on the other side, it won't. Okay, so then we're gonna repeat that two more times. This time with the other hole, that's gonna be on the side of your foot. So again, put your yarn through and pull, and then the other edge, but don't pull all the way through. Just push it through a little bit, pull it through, leave a loop, and then put your braid through that loop. You want it to be really snug so that there's not any extra room for the braid to come out. So just tie it as tight as you can, and then pull it, push it down into that little hole, and then cut off the excess string or yarn. And again, repeat for the last time in the last hole. So you're gonna take the yarn, again, push it through the hole, pull it through, take the other end, push that one through, but leave enough so that you still have a loop. Put your braid through the loop, and then tie as tight as you can. Cut the extra yarn, push down into the hole, and you are done. So you can pull the, um, the braid in, or the strap, so that the ends match up, um, and they should slide through really easily, and then all you do is just put it on your foot, and wrap and around your ankle and tie and you're done. So just repeat that for the other flip-flop and you have your very own DIY gladiator flip-flops. I hope you enjoyed today's DIY tutorial and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and be sure to visit my video sponsor, lionbrand.com and see all of the wonderful yarns that they have available. You can find yarn on their website and make your own pair of unique gladiator flip-flops. I'll see you next time. Bye.